Aloha, I'm Dem with TNC Surf. Rocker is the curvature on the bottom of a surfboard. Surprisingly, most surfers don't even know what this feature does, how it affects performance, and how much rocker they need for the size of waves that they want to surf. Let's get started with my conversation with legendary surfboard shaper Glenn Pang, where we talk all things rocker. And also, if you want to look and start acting like a pro out there in the water, then you need to click our surfboard education playlist. I put the link in the description, so check that out right now. For rocker, usually the more curved, the looser the board is, the flatter the board, the, the faster it is. So anytime you add more curve, you're getting a slower board because the water needs to flow from here to here is a longer path. Whereas like on a flatter board, the water from the nose to tail is a shorter path. So it's a faster when you're paddling. Less rocker overall would be an easier board to paddle and be quicker um, as far as paddling. But turning wise, if it's a lower rocker, the board doesn't have the curve that fits in the curve of the wave. So the boards tend to be more catchy. So usually flatter rockers are for smaller waves, which are flatter. So you have a flatter rocker. The more rocker, the board turns better, the looser the board is. But too much rocker will make the board slow. Normally on a smaller wave, you want less rocker because you want speed. When you get to a bigger wave, the waves have the speed already. So you don't need too flat of a rocker. You just want the board to fit mainly in the curve of the wave, but it can change too when you do concave. So that's another factor too. When you're putting a single concave, now the water is going through a lot quicker because you're cutting this line from here to here straighter. Whereas like if it didn't have any concave, the water needs to flow all the way from here to here. If you don't know everything there is to know about concave and how it can dramatically affect your surfboard's performance, then you need to click the link I put in the description on our video about concave. Let's get back to our topic on rocker. So rocker is needed for several reasons, one of them being to fit in the curve of the wave. So what would happen if you surfed a low rocker board in a big curling wave? Yeah, the board actually will slide. It will slide? Yeah. Because it won't turn, the board will tend to not hold as well in the curve of the wave. So if you have a wave like this and your board's flat like this, when you go to do your turn, it doesn't fit well in the curve of the wave, it'll tend to lose traction. Example, pipeline, eight foot, and you're riding a 10 foot board. The board won't fit in the curve of the wave. You guys are riding six threes maybe. Six three to six six is like probably average at pipe. So if you're going six three, as compared to a seven three, you can go less rocker now because the board's shorter, so you don't have that extra nose that'll tend to poke in the in the way. So that's why, I'd like, if you look at the trend now, like with the good guys, a lot of the better guys are riding shorter boards in bigger waves. During my conversation with Glenn, I had noticed that the particular board we were looking at had a lot of nose rocker. And Glenn had a very interesting point about how surfboard thickness can dramatically alter your perception of surfboard rocker. Check it out. Let's say this board is two and a half, maybe. Let's say now the board's three and a half. If you add inch of thickness here, it'll look like it has less rocker, but it has the exact same bottom rocker. So let's say now we get four inches thick. The board will look dead flat on this. You say, oh, the board doesn't have the same rocker as this. It does because we're adding all the thickness to the deck as compared to the bottom boards that have exact same bottom rocker. If this board was, let's say, an inch thick, it would look like it had like twice as much rocker as this board it has the exact same bottom rocker. It just looks like on this board especially, looks like it has a lot of nose rocker because it's thinner. So like if you look at Billy's boards, the S4VF is what he rides at pipe, which is the exact same rocker as this board. But because the board is a lot thicker, it doesn't look like it has a lot of nose rocker, but it does have the same nose rocker. Do it if you have like a level table, you could actually put the board on the table. Tape measure, measure from the nose, measure from the tail. Depending on how big the board is, 
how big the wave is because of course the longer the board is the more rocker it's going to have let's say if you try to make a board that's similar in feel average short board is let's say 510 or something now you have a 910 even though the board might look flat if you're measuring it it does have a lot of rocker because it's a longer board so normally the longer board will have more rocker to have the same characteristics i guess every shaper has their own recipe as far as how much nose rocker and there's no set rule where like oh you need x amount of nose rocker and x amount of tail rocker to work it's just like i said the combination that every shaper uh, works on to make the board work how they want the board to work what uh, somebody thinks is a lot as compared to somebody else is relevant you know like is that a lot of nose rocker to somebody that might be a lot of nose rocker and to somebody else that might be less nose rocker join the tnc team by subscribing right here and to get the highest quality surfboards and the best hawaii style apparel and accessories go to our website tcsurf.com link in the description and live like this